Angela McBurdy of DrFlute.com and today's video is on the difference gold makes on a head joint. Today I'm playing on a Lillian Burkhart professional model flute and the head joints that I'm going to use are also Lillian Burkhart and all of this comes from the Flute Center of New York and if you're interested in anything that I've played today or just having a flute trial of your own because you're interested in a new flute of your own go to Flute Center of New York and use my co code DRFLUTE. With that code, you will have uh, free shipping. You will have an extended um, trial period. It goes from seven days to 10 days. You will also have an extended warranty, which goes from 12 months to 18 months, and 10% off sheet music. So this is a solid silver head joint right here. So what I played, I'll just play a little bit more for you. It's a gorgeous flute. It's really a beautiful sound. I like the brightness. It's very silvery. It's what I'm used to, although my flute does have a gold riser, but this is a sound I could really get a hold of. But let me compare it to the other head joints. Now, what I'm going to compare is a Burkhardt head joint that's still silver, but it has, the first one is going to have a gold riser. So the riser attaches your lip plate to the head joint, and that is 14 karat gold um, on this head joint. The next head joint I'm going to use is one that has a 14 karat lip plate. So everything plus the riser is 14 karat. Then the third head joint is a 14 karat head joint. So the whole head joint is 14 karat gold. So I'm gonna compare each one. I'll try to play a little bit of, uh, of the same thing so you could compare. Um, I just one other thing is that this body is a heavy walled body, so it's a 0 0.018 body. So these are the three different Burkhart head joints. This one has a gold riser, this one has the gold lip plate, and this is the solid, the gold all the way up, uh, the whole head joint is. They're all 14 karat, so we get to compare the same head joints with the same karat gold, and I think that's going to be a really unique comparison. All right, I've put on the Burkhart head joint that has the gold riser. So what I think you will hear is the sound as it adds more gold that the sound should get a little bit warmer and maybe a little darker as we go along. Let's see if that's the case. So now I'm going to play the same Mozart uh, little bit that I played before with the silver head joint. Well, I hear a difference in that. Are you hearing that difference? So I guess what I think, it still has that silvery sound. It's still bright, but there is a warmer edge to it. I feel like there's something in there that gives it just a little bit, takes off a little bit of the brightness. So I still have a bright tone, but maybe not as bright. Uh, the uh, gold gives it that little bit of a warmth. And I think that's why on my Haynes flute, which has a gold riser. I like just that little bit of gold because um, I think that it gives you just a little bit without going overboard. And let's go down and hear what it sounds like in the low register. So I'm not used to having two levers here. So when I'm reaching over for that, uh, I hit the wrong one because I'm used to only having one. My flute does not have both. Now, I really feel like that gold uh, riser gives that low register a little bit more of an edge than, than if you just used the silver head joint. Really nice schmaltzy sound down there. Let me make it a little bit more open sound. Mm -hmm. 
It still is beautiful, right? So when you're comparing these head joints and with the silver, with the gold, different bits of gold on it, um, remember that there's no right or wrong. It's preference. What do you like? What is it that you hear in that tone? Now, let me move over to the gold, the plate. So now I've moved to the head joint that has the lip plate that's gold. Let's hear how that sounds. Uh, again, a different sound. There's a little bit of a different color to that sound. Now, just to clarify, I believe the Burkhart head joints can come with a different cut, but these all have the S4 cut. So they should all have the same angle, and that way we can compare, really have a good comparison of that sound. So I think that this, to me, it gives me a little bigger sound. I think the sound is a little bit more expansive, and it does cut down on that brightness. Um, but I think it's really a luscious, warm sound here. Very edgy. You can get a nice edgy sound on, down there. So that's opening up the sound, giving it more of an ah color here. Really a gorgeous, gorgeous sound. Uh, so that's the lip plate. Let's see what happens when we try the solid gold head joint. Now I've put on the 14 karat head joint and this is uh, gold crown, gold lip plate, gold riser, and gold tube. Let's hear what that sounds like. Well, what do you think? Did that warm even more uh, the sound up? Uh, I think it really takes off some of the, um, maybe the harmonic edges to the silver sound. Each one of these head joints has gone a little bit more to that gold, to warm honey kind of sound right there. I feel a bit like we take a little bit of the edges off and we just have this warm, luscious center. <laughs> I also feel like this gave me a little bit bigger sound. I'm not sure. I might have to go through all the head joints again and compare them. But uh, I thought that my sound expanded a little bit more with this one. And I feel like in that third register, a little bit of that edge maybe um, is taken off and makes my third octave, which tends to be a little shrill, and we have to work re really hard with our silver flutes to keep that sound to, to have more harmonics in it to warm it up, that maybe this is more of a given. It's a little bit easier to make that octave warm sounding. <laughs> It has a real nice edge to it, so it's really a beautiful, uh, beautiful sound. Um, and again, it's all preference. So when you're playing with head joints, if you're in the market for head joints, try one with a little bit of gold. Now, of course, the price is going to go up a lot to have all gold. And if you want 
it's just some change in your head joint, go with the riser. It's a more economical choice and it gives you a little bit of that warmth, a little bit of that edge, and maybe strikes a nice balance between just silver and gold. And then, then you could do the lip plate and that's going to just take one more step into the all gold direction and um, just take off a little bit more, warm it up a little bit more, give it just a bit of that dusky kind of sound um, that gold can give that's just luscious and warm. And then if you can go with the whole head joint and the sound that that can give you, and it's of course just beautiful besides. So those are the three head joints. Try listening to each one of those side by side and uh, see what you think about that sound and if you are attracted to one sound or the other and then go back to silver. And of course the grass is always greener so just because there's gold doesn't always mean that it's better. Maybe for you silver is the way to go and that is the sound because it's bright, it's there, it's responsive. You do have to change a little bit um, and just play around with the response with a gold head joint because it is going to change how it vibrates a little bit differently because it's a different metal. Anyway, I'm going to play around a little bit more with these beautiful head joints and you take a listen and Tell me what in the comments what you think about these head joints. That's today's video.